I put everything into my room, and yet I like to show how I use it to others. I've done live streams of myself working within Rome, and I do tours with others as well. Since everything is so interconnected, uh, every time I do a live demo for others, I'm worried about accidentally showing private information related to my client work, uh, my personal relationships, or my journal. This is a common concern for the people I talk to about doing tours on my channel as well. So I contacted Rome Hacker, who uh, is the engineer behind Rome 42, an excellent JavaScript extension that will superpower your Rome. It really just adds in a lot of quality of life changes and even in some functional changes as well. Um, and I contacted him about building a privacy mode, which would allow you to toggle to redact blocks of text that are associated with certain page references. He was game, and he just asked me for some specs, and here's what we came up with. You'll need to add Rome 42 to your database in order for this to work. I'll put a link in the bio for how to install it as well as a, a link to some tech specs for some more specific information as to how this works, which I would highly recommend you check out if you're going to use this um, with your private information. Now, when you toggle privacy mode, um, which you can do by either going to this hamburger icon that Rome 42 adds onto your database, you click on it, and then you can click on privacy mode, or you can Click the uh, keyboard shortcut, Control-Alt-P. Um, but when you do this, it will create a page called Rome Privacy Mode List. If it doesn't, you're going to want to create this page with this exact title. Now, first, let's look at what happens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off Privacy Mode. First, let's look at what happens with the private page. You'll see that I just listed the page reference here, and I uh, also have it tagged. I have private tagged over here in a few blocks indented underneath it. When I turn on privacy mode, it's going to redact all of the blocks where I reference private and also all of the blocks indented underneath it. Yeah. Uh, and I'll even do, I'm going to open this up in the sidebar. Well, so I, I want to make sure, make one thing very clear is that this is only visual. Um, it's not actually making your data more private than it was before. It's just covering it up with a black rectangle. But um, I'm going to open up the linked references. It works with the linked references as well. You'll see it removes all of, um, it covers up all of those blocks. So this is working, um, this is working in essentially the same way that queries and linked references work. You know, it's following the same rules for indentation that determine what's considered a linked reference. Um, and I covered this and more in a recent workshop, which I'll include the link in the description. Um, and if I make a shorter introductory video on indentation at some point, I'll add that to the, to the description as well. Um, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to be sure you're updated when that happens. And you can pick any page reference you want. Like, while we do assume some level of proper indentation in how you write within Rome, this is meant to be something that you can apply in hindsight and adjust as you go. So in order to add a new page to it, you know, like, so I'm just going to add a new page right now. Uh, let's say page one. You, you need to turn off Rome privacy mode and then turn it back on. And then that will work. And sometimes we just don't need that much redacting, right? For example, I'll often do user interviews, 
And it's fine if I share my notes about those interviews, but it's not okay for me to share personally identifiable information. So here I'm going to reference John Doe with an exclamation point in front of it. That's the notation for this, just learn it. Um, and when I turn on privacy mode, it's only going to redact the text within the page reference while leaving all of the other information intact. Yeah, see here, it just made it so John Doe um, on this page, again, I can click into the block to reveal the text, but it just made it so that was uh, covered up. And this is going to work in the linked references, it's going to work in page search, page content, you know, like um, you'll, you'll see, for example, here I've got this page uh, called private, let me move myself. Uh, I've got this page called private, and it's just going to redact all of the information that is on this page because it's associated with um, the private tag. So, a couple of caveats. I should caveat that this privacy mode is only visual. It's not a security feature. It doesn't encrypt or remove anything. It just covers text in a black rectangle. If you click on the block, it will allow you to edit it and see what's hiding under the cover. If you would prefer the black rectangle to be a different color or otherwise look different, Rome Hacker added a CSS selector. You can find this in the text specs page I linked to in the video description. I should also note that for now, uh, query behavior is a little weird and we're working on it. If anything, it's overzealous in redacting too much which is preferable to not redacting out something it should, especially, you know, given that this is a privacy mode. But if you notice anything weird with that, just let either of us know on Twitter and send us some screenshots. Finally, this is experimental and it's in development. You need to test this yourself and play around with it on your own before you start doing live demonstrations to make sure that when you put something onto your private list, privacy mode will behave as you expect. If you realize, oh, this page should be private and I don't have it in my configuration yet, just add it to the list. Turn off privacy mode and turn it back on again. Um, Please let us know any situations that work or don't work for you. You can just message either of us on Twitter. So with all that being said, add Rome 42 to your database and play around with it. You know, you can start showing off your Rome to others, do Twitch streams, come on my YouTube channel, maybe do a tour. After taking the time to put together my own thorough list uh, of what pages are private, I now feel a lot more comfortable demonstrating my workflows publicly. The odds of me showing confidential information by accident has been drastically reduced. So like, subscribe, comment if you want to see more of these videos and if you want to tell the YouTube algorithm that others should see these videos as well. Thanks for watching.